Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm gonna be creating this look for you guys. It was done using the Urban Decay Vice Reloaded Palette. This recently came out in celebration of their 20 year anniversary. So congrats and happy 20 year anniversary to Urban Decay, that is amazing. This palette is incredible in terms of color. It'll definitely get you outside of your comfort zone if you're used to using neutrals because I don't even think there is a single neutral in here. They're all... Oh my god. What just happened? <laughs> Brush came like flying out and almost knocked over my wine. Anyway, all the colors in here are really colorful. I decided to use the greens and come up with this look. So if you guys are interested and want to see how I created it, keep on watching. I already have a little bit of the foundation that I'm gonna be using on my skin today, on my lids, to even them out. But as a main base, I'm gonna be using this Rimmel Magnifies Duo Ended Shadow and Cold Liner Stick. I'm gonna be using the side with the cold liner, it's a black cold liner, as a base. So I'm gonna apply this really close to the lash line and then blend it up towards the crease. This interruption brought to you by Using a Luxie 231 brush, I'm going to apply the shadow oil slick to the inner and outer corners of the eye. With a Smith 230 brush, I'm going to apply the color Suspend, that's Suspend? Suspend to the crease to help blend out this shadow before moving on because right now it's looking a little crazy. So just make sure you're not going over the center of the lid where the green shadow is going to be going. And with a Luxie 213 brush, I'm gonna pack on the color Mildew to the center of the lid. I know this one doesn't look as bare as this one, but just pack that color on in the center. And I'm gonna repeat that same step, but this time I'm gonna spray the shadow with Makeup Forever's Mist and Fix after I've picked it up on the brush. And this time when you're applying it, just tap it down the center. That's where you want the color to be the most intense because we're gonna blend out the edges. Okay, so now I'm gonna add a little more of oil slick to intensify the look of this halo eye. So I'm gonna reapply this to the inner and outer corners with that same Luxie 231 brush. And then lightly feather it in towards the green shadow. Using that same Smith 230 brush, I'm again gonna go in with suspend and further blend out these shadows. Now before I blend out all these shadows, I'm gonna pick up the shadow Anonymous on a Sigma E40 brush and just blend around the edges because remember, I didn't use an eyeshadow base, I didn't set with powder, so it's gonna make it a lot harder to blend the edges, but the shadow is gonna make it a lot easier. So I'm gonna pick this up, not a lot, just a tiny bit, enough to help blend out the edges and start blending it out. And the last color I'm gonna apply before moving on to the rest of the face is Acid Rain, and I'm gonna apply that to the inner corner using a Sigma E45 brush. So I'm even blending it up towards the brow. All right, so I'm gonna leave that there and move on to the skin because I think I'm done with the shadows on the lid. I'm not gonna have fallout when I do the lower lash line. So let's go on to skin. I'm gonna be using something new and different that I haven't tried, but I've had for a while. Um, it looked really pretty on my skin, on my hand when I tried it, but I haven't actually tried it on my face, so I'm gonna give it a shot in this video. Let's see how it goes. For a primer, I'm using the Dior Skin Air Flash CC Primer. This is just like their Air Flash foundation, except it's the primer, and it does have a little bit of a, I almost wanna say it's like a lavender, so it's definitely gonna brighten the skin and it has more of like that luminosity to it. Rather than just spray it on my face, I'm gonna actually spray it on my beauty blender and then tie it onto my skin. So 
I think the camera's picking up the color. It's like a little bit of like a pinky lavender color. So it's definitely really brightening on the skin. The only thing I will say about luxury brands is I hate the fragrance. They always seem to put a fragrance in their products and I just really don't like a fragrance in my in my makeup or skincare, but sometimes I can deal with it. This one I really like, so I can deal with it, but I just prefer that it not have a fragrance if it doesn't have to have one. And I feel like this right away made my skin look really glowy and really fresh, and I really like that. And I just like the aerosol can, just because it's fun. So now I'm gonna use the Dior foundation as well for my complexion. It's the Dior Skin Forever Perfect Makeup Everlasting Wear Pore Refining Effect with Sunscreen. It is the longest name ever for a foundation. And I'm just gonna apply that with my Beauty Blender, just like I did with the primer. And this is in the shade number 30. I think it's been a long time since I've used a really high-end foundation. Like brands like Chanel, Armani, Dior. But this one's really nice. Might have to use this one more. And for concealer, to even out the yellowness of this foundation, I'm going to be using the Tarte Maracuja Creases Concealer in the shade Fairly Light Medium. Theirs is always really hard to read. So I'm just warming it up on the back of my hand, and then with a Luxie 211 brush, I'm going to apply that uh, underneath my eyes, forehead, bridge of the nose. You guys know the drill. Whoa. It's really light. A little bit right here just to brighten those areas up. If this does end up being too light and if this ever happens to you, just pick up your foundation when blending out that concealer to bring back some more of that color. So my camera decided to overheat and while I waited for it to cool down, I decided to apply powder because I figured you guys have seen me apply powder before you guys would be okay with me skipping that step. I used the Laura Mercier translucent powder and used a beauty blender to set the areas where I applied the concealer. So now I'm gonna go ahead and bronze and contour my skin. I'm gonna be using my new favorite bronzer slash contouring powder. It's a part of the Zoeva Rose Golden Blush Palette and the actual color is called Heavy Crown. It's this one right here. It's just such a perfect shade of brown with the right amount of taupiness. So I'm gonna use this powder to bronze and contour with with a Luxie 522 brush. And for a highlight, I'm using a Sunburst from the Anastasia Glow Kit. This one's the one called That Glow in the beige packaging versus the blue. And I'm gonna use that same Luxie 522 brush. For blush, I'm using the Sigma Aura Powder in the shade In the Saddle. This has become my go-to, oops. <laughs> this has become my go-to blush color when I do really intense eye looks because it is so neutral. It's perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that with my Smith 112 brush. I always take whatever blush is left over and apply it to the nose just to kind of connect all the colors together. Then I'm taking a large powder brush. This is the Lexi 502 brush to just blend everything out. I feel like that highlight is definitely the most intense highlight I own. Um, so it can show up really sharp. So I just kind of like to blend it out with the contour blush and everything else. All right, now back to the eyes. I'm gonna start by applying that same coal liner to the waterline and also just outside of the lower lash line. I'm also gonna tight line with this eyeliner. This is an awesome product, it's like an all-in-one. Just recently discovered them and they're really good. They have so many colors. And before that liner has a chance to dry, like when we were applying it on the lid, I'm just gonna blend it out on the lower lash line with a Sigma E21 brush. Using a Zoeva 231 brush, I'm gonna apply the color Suspend, which is also in the crease, to the lower lash line, right underneath or kind of on top of where I applied that cold pencil or smudged it out. I'm gonna grab that same Luxie brush I was using earlier to apply the green shadow in the center of the lid. That's the Luxie 213 brush. And I'm gonna pick up Mildew again, but 
and wet it and just apply it to the center of the lower lash line for like an added little pop of color. And I'm just gonna add a ton of mascara and some false lashes. I'm not sure which ones yet, but I'm gonna start by applying the IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara to the upper and lower lashes. And I actually really like the way this turned out with just the mascara, which is how I originally had it in the photo. So I'm gonna leave it like this. This mascara does wonders for my lashes. And for a lip, I'm gonna be giving you guys another option, one that's a little more wearable, because in the photo, I was wearing one that was a little more towards the extreme side. It was Maybelline's Vivid Matte Lipstick in the shade, I think it's called Poisoned Plum. Um, so definitely feel free to still wear that color. I really love the way green and purples blend together. Anytime I do like a green smoky eye, I always tend to do a really, really deep, dark plum lip. But instead, I'm gonna be using Ofra's Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Dubai. This is one of their newest colors, and it's super nude. I mean, like, nude nude. And that's what I'm gonna go for. And this is actually so nude, it looks like I have concealer on my lips, so I'm gonna add a pinch of mocha, if I can find it, to darken it up a bit. So we'll be right back. Okay, so I went and grabbed mocha and added a pinch of this lip color to the other one add a little more color it's still really nude but it's not as uh flesh toned as before even though i like it i know it tends to look like concealer lips but i really like it for photos it's just i felt like it was being washed out on camera so i mixed dubai and mocha together but feel free to use any nude to complete this look I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And as always, don't forget to subscribe so I see you in the next one. Bye guys.